क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्थ एफ एक्स इज गिवन एज साइन एक्स प्लस माइनस पाई बाय टू टू पाई बाय टू साइन एक्स एफ टी डी टी साइन एक्स को हम बाहर ला सकते हैं माइनस पाई बाय टू टू पाई बाय टू एफ टी डी टी एन प्लस सेकेंड टर्म में भी हम कॉस एक्स को बाहर ले सकते हैं माइनस पाई बाय टू टू पाई बाय टू टी एफ टी डी टी एज दे आर सेंग इट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एस माइनस वन अपॉन के साइन एक्स माइनस टू अपॉन के कॉस एक्स सो आई कैन रिप्लेस एफ टी बाय दिस एक्सप्रेशन इट विल बी साइन एक्स प्लस साइन एक्स माइनस पाई बाय टू टू पाई बाय टू एफ टी विल बी रिटर्न एज माइनस वन अपॉन के साइन टी माइनस टू अपॉन के साइन माइनस टू अपॉन के कॉस टी डी टी एंड प्लस कॉस एक्स माइनस पाई बाय टू टू पाई बाय टू टी एफ टी एफ टी विल बी द सेम एक्सप्रेशन माइनस वन अपॉन के साइन टी माइनस टू अपॉन के कॉस टी dt. Now we will integrate the possible terms. As we can see, it is minus one upon k sine t over here, and sine t is an odd function. Minus pi by two to pi by two. This integration will be zero. So it is sine x. The first term is first integration is zero. The next term is minus two upon k. The constant term we take out. और कॉस टी का इंटीग्रेशन करेंगे माइनस पाई बाय टू से पाई बाय टू द वैल्यू कम्स टू बी टू इज स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यू आई थिंक वी कैन कैलकुलेट इट एन प्लस कॉस एक्स द फर्स्ट टर्म इज माइनस वन अपॉन के कांस्टेंट टर्म ने बाहर लिया देन टी साइन टी इसका हम बाई पार्ट इंटीग्रेशन कर लेंगे माइनस पाई बाय टू टू पाई बाय टू और माइनस टू बाय के अगेन कॉन्स्टेंट है It is t cos t dt minus pi by two to pi by two. This is also odd function. The value will be zero. And when we integrate this by part, this value also comes to be two. So I am using that value. I hope you can calculate it. Minus four by k sine x. Then Minus two by k. This value is two. This integration. Then it is minus two upon k cos x, and that one is zero. This is f x, and as given, this f x is equals to this f x is equals to minus one upon k sin x minus two upon k cos x. So I will equate this value to this given value, minus four upon k sine x, minus two upon k cos x. Now minus two upon k cos x will be cancelled. Minus one upon k sine x को हम left hand side में लेकर आते हैं, तो ये बन जाएगा sine x को हमने common ले लिया, one minus three by k equals to zero. So this k must be three. and they are asking us then k cannot be more than so it cannot be more than 3 4 or 5 as it is 3 it is more than 2 so a is not the right option the right options are b c and d question number 10 six particles are moving from the point 5 plus 2 root 3 iota let us sketch it on the argon plane this real axis imaginary axis and the point is somewhere here let's have a hexagon as they are saying it is a regular hexagon it will be something like this this point is say 5 comma 2 root 3 which they are providing us and the second point one more point they are providing us is 8 plus 3 root 3 
if this is 5 plus 2 root 3 and one point is here 8 plus 3 root 3. This is say P point the center two adjacent particle in Z from form an equilateral triangle. If the position of one of the particle at any time T is represented by the point Z1, this is Z1. Now we can see the distance is the distance between P and point A is 8 minus 5, 3 square is 9 plus root 3 square is 3 which is equals to 2 root 3. So, this is a 2 root 3 distance traveled by the point. So, every point will travel the same distance and by symmetry or you can see this angle is 30 degree. If this angle is 30 then this angle is also 30. If this is 30 then this point can be calculated. The x coordinate should be same, the real part should be same and the imaginary part should be reduced by root 3 because it has been increased by root 3. So, it is only root 3. Similarly, we can have these these points because this is a regular hexagon. We can use its property. If it is 8 root 3, this point will be, we are adding 3 unit in the real part, we will subtract here 2 comma root 3 and this point will be 2 comma 3 root 3. We are reducing root 3, 2 root 3 is the distance traveled by these points from point P. So, 2 root 3 when subtracted this point will become 5 comma 0. It means this point is lying over real axis. This is a real axis where it is lying and this point will be 5 comma 4 root 3 because 2 root 3 has been added in the imaginary part. Now, they are asking the position of other particles can be. You can see 2 plus root 3 is here. B option is 5 minus root 3. There is no point having the real part as 5 minus root 3. B and D both are wrong and C is correct because 5 comma 0 is here. Therefore, the answer correct answers are A and C.